Researchers say contaminated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant could still be leaking into the port. They're calling for a thorough investigation. A team from Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology has been studying the seawater in a port directly in front of the plant. Tests show levels of radioactive cesium exceed the government safety standard in some places. Researchers have calculated the total amount of radioactive substances in the port over a one-year period. They say about 16 trillion becquerels of cesium-137 may have leaked into the ocean since June 2011. That's 73 times the discharge limit imposed before the nuclear accident. Experts say that amount of contamination doesn't pose a threat to marine life in open waters, but radioactive substances could accumulate in fish in the port. Radioactive water began leaking into the ocean after the 2011 nuclear accident. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power took steps. They say the leak stopped three months later. Research team professor Jota Kanda says contaminated water may be leaking as groundwater. He says another possibility is damaged pipes in the compound. We need to look into every single possibility to verify the cause, if in fact contaminated water is leaking. TEPCO officials say they don't think radioactive substances are leaking. They say they will continue to investigate. Tokyo Electric Power Company is storing about 300,000 tons of contaminated water in pools and tanks at the Fukushima nuclear site. Now another of those storage pools is leaking. Officials from Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority found a leak in the facility's number two pool last week. They began transferring water from that pool to the number one pool, where the new leak was discovered on Tuesday. This is the third pool officials have found to be leaking. TEPCO has stopped moving water between tanks. TEPCO official Masayuki Ono said both pools are unusable. He said the company will have to find another location on site in which to store the contaminated water. New detection techniques being used at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have revealed radioactive cesium in groundwater at the facility. But the plant's operators say levels are much lower than legal limits. Previously, Tokyo Electric Power Company had said levels were too low to detect. TEPCO officials said on Monday that they found 0.39 becquerels per liter of radioactive cesium-137 in water samples collected in April. They said the figure is lower than the in-house limit of one becquerel per liter, and it's considerably lower than Japan's legal limit of 90. TEPCO had previously stated that cesium levels were too low for its instruments to detect. But Nuclear Regulation Authority investigators directed it to improve its methods leading to the new findings. Officials say they'll remove local groundwater before it's polluted by contact with radioactive wastewater. 400 tons of radioactive water build up at the plant every day. Officials from TEPCO and the Natural Resources and Energy Agency set out a plan last month to lower the groundwater level by discharging it into the ocean. Local fishermen are against the idea, saying they fear the groundwater could be contaminated. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says it has found a leak in a tank that stores water contaminated with radioactive substances. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say they confirmed the leak shortly after noon on Wednesday. The tank is used to store water from a reservoir where leaks were discovered in April. It's one of about a thousand tanks used to hold contaminated water. TEPCO officials say water is dripping from a joint every three to four seconds. They say they're investigating the leak. They say so far there has been no rise in radiation levels at the plant. Officials have been facing very challenging situations. In September, a crane operator accidentally knocked a steel beam into a spent fuel pool in the building of Reactor 3. The worker was removing debris at the time. A power blackout in March caused the suspension of cooling systems for spent fuel over nearly 30 hours. Officials believe a rat caused a short circuit in an electric switchboard. Contaminated water leaks are another problem. Utility officials say groundwater is seeping into the buildings at a rate of 400 tons per day. The more time it takes to decommission the reactors, the more risks engineers will be exposed to. They need to revise the roadmap as they go to deal with the specific difficulties they encounter and prepare backup plans. 
The biggest challenge will be to remove melted fuel from the crippled reactors. A meltdown occurred in 1979 at the Three Mile Island nuclear plant in the United States. But the melted fuel remained within the reactor's core. The meltdown sent Fukushima Daiichi caused the fuel to eat through the core of the reactors. Engineers still don't know the exact location of the melted fuel. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are struggling with yet another problem. They found contaminated water leaking from a tank inside a new filtering system. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say they discovered the leak during an inspection on Saturday. TEPCO has been testing the filtering system since March. It can remove almost all radioactive materials. The officials say the leak occurred in the welded section of a storage tank that holds radioactive water. They say the water has dripped into a pan below, but has not leaked outside of the filtering system. Contaminated water has been building up at the plant at a rate of hundreds of tons per day. TEPCO wants to use the new system to decontaminate it, but it has halted tests to investigate the cause of the leak. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it has detected radiation in underground water that leaked from a well in the crippled plant. Officials from Tokyo Electric Power Company say they will step up measures to ensure the contaminated water does not reach the ocean. TEPCO engineers analyzed the water in May and June. Officials said on Wednesday that the level of radioactive substances exceeded the government set safety limit for, to, for release into the sea. They say they found a strontium at about 30 times the government limit and a tritium at eight times the limit. The well in question is located between the sea and the number two reactor's turbine building. TEPCO officials said they will investigate whether the radiation has reached the ocean. They added that so far, no major changes have been observed in radiation levels in nearby seawater. And engineers at the Fukushima plant are trying to fix another problem. They've been examining a leak in a new filtering system. They say poor welding may be to blame. The engineers found pinholes in a tank that stores contaminated water. As part of a filtering system that's designed to remove dozens of types of radioactive substances. TEPCO crews have been testing the system since March. They inspected it over the weekend and found water had leaked from a stainless steel tank. They emptied the vessel and discovered small holes in a welded section. They plan to place a camera inside the tank to examine it in more detail. About 400 tons of radioactive water accumulates every day at the plant. Decontaminating it is one of TEPCO's most pressing challenges. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company have reported that water contaminated with radiation has leaked from a desal desalination unit at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They said a worker detected the leak on Friday in a device that removes salt from water used to cool reactors. The company estimates that about 360 litres of water leaked out. It says the water contains radioactive strontium. The plant's operator said the leak stopped when the device was turned off and that no contaminated water has flowed outside the complex. Workers at Japan's damaged nuclear plant have detected unusually high levels of radioactive substances off the coast of the facility. Plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company isn't ruling out the possibility that contaminated groundwater is seeping into the sea. TEPCO workers tested samples from a port near Fukushima Daiichi. They found the water contained 10 times more radioactive tritium than previous samples. But they said the figure is still less than 1 50th of the government set safety limit. Workers found tritium and strontium exceeding the safety level earlier this month in water drawn from a well near one of the plant's reactors. TEPCO managers say they'll re-examine the data from the sea and well water. They hope to determine whether polluted groundwater is reaching the ocean. They say if that's happening, they'll use chemicals to reinforce the ground and stop the seepage.